Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's see if I can get through this whole video. I, I've done three videos now. My nose itched through the whole three videos. Let's see if we can get through this one without that happening. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Power. Okay. Earn success. So, I do feel like there is some kind of a... Almost like a miracle happening for you uh, right now, Scorpio. It might not feel that way. Because we do have the tower... You knew this tower was coming. King of Cups. Not sure if you want it. Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck in your manifestation. But a transformation about to take place. Okay? The Death card. So you are in your own reading here. Twice. And Pisces is also here. So, I feel like this tower is coming. You knew this tower was coming. I, I mean, the high priestess tells me you knew that this was coming. From this king of cups that you might not want anymore. Might, might not. I don't know. That's entirely up to you. I do feel like you feel like you're stuck in what you're trying to manifest. But that is about to change. Your whole world is being upheaved right now. I, I, I feel you, Scorpio, because, like I said, you don't see no background. I have to take everything off the walls. I have to take everything... Yeah, that much work over the next 24 hours. So, let's see what's going on here. What is this tower about, Spirit? What is this tower about? Tower on the tower. If you were... You were waiting for something. While you were waiting, you were juggling. You were juggling something with... As far as love goes. Trying to make a decision, I feel like. Trying to make a decision in love. Either past or present. Or both. You may have both showing up at the same time. And that made your world go... And you're like, ugh, ugh. I feel like <laughs> you got your eyes closed. Look, in both these cards, you got your eyes closed. At least your, your two eyes. But I think your third eye is wide awake. Let's see what this high priestess is about. Stress. Cancer. We have Cancer on the board now, along with Pisces, Scorpio, and that's it. 
this is coming back around and you know it is and I think you really want it to in a way because you want to see and I hate to say it like this uh, Scorpio because I got Pisces there I was looking at Pisces uh, but it's like this person you're seeing them go down because of the choice that they made here it was the wrong one and because of that You see this coming. I got Leo and I got Cancer here. You see this coming from this person. Okay, with that, with that High Priestess, you know this person is trying to come back around to try to hurt you. They're exposed. They're completely exposed. You know what time of day it is. And I don't, you're done. You're done. Clo you closed this chapter. And because you closed this chapter, there is a new one about to be rebirthed. That old chapter stressed you the fuck out. Yes, I know, I know, I know. All right. What is this King of Cups about? Somebody, something that you're waiting for? You're not showing anybody your feelings. It's almost like you're keeping your eyes on the prize. And not on anything else. And again, I'm seeing a boat here. I don't... I don't know why I keep seeing a boat. What is the Three of Wands about here, Spirit? What is this King of Cups waiting on? Waiting on the dust to settle. Scorpio, I feel like this is this person going through all these towers. I don't feel like this is you. I keep getting they know they fucked up. You were their wish fulfillment. And now they know they're going to have to fight for it. Because you exposed all their bullshit. You told them how it was. And you're not going to do it anymore. And this person is all stressed out because they know they screwed up. They knew, if they didn't know before, they know now that you were the one. And they know what they did. They are very, very aware of what they did. Now I don't think you want anything to do with this person. With the Four of Cups here. Like Paul swiping it to the left. It's like, yeah, no. no. But it puts you in a it puts you in a state of now what? But even if you even if you haven't recognized the fact you are manifesting something new with that Queen of Wands. I just feel like you're bored. You're bored with the antics of all these other people. Yeah. Five of Wands. You're definitely in your head about something right now, Scorpio. And it, I got a King of Wands, a Queen of Pentacles, Sagittarius, the Wheel... 
of fortune, the wheel of fortune, eight of pentacles and the knight of cups. So I feel like this person is willing to do whatever it takes to get you back. Even telling you how they feel when they, they don't like to show how they feel. They may have discarded you like it was no big thing. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So they dealing with their own karma right now. And I, I do think this person is trying to rebuild themselves because they want to come back to you and tell you how they feel if they haven't done that already. Because, like I said, the King of Cups don't like to tell nobody how they feel because they're afraid of getting hurt. But I think they know that there is competition and maybe some rumors, maybe some competitive... I mean, I, I'm feeling real competitive energy here. Like somebody is trying to... Like they know that you have a lot of different choices here in life. That you're not... Um, waiting for them anymore. So now they're trying to spin that wheel of fortune in the other direction, in their favor. And, and But there's a queen of pentacles standing in the way. That is wife, that is mother, that is boss energy. That is somebody who handles the finances. And I think they're trying to work their way out of it so they can come towards you and tell you how they feel. Five of Pentacles. And when they do... I feel like turnabout's fair play. And, and you know, rather than play their game here, Scorpio, eight of cups that ass. I mean, walk away. Because this person is, is trying to bring balance to a broken situation. I mean, whether you walk away from this person or not is completely up to you. But they're still pulling their the same old shit. Even if they let you in a little bit. They're still doing the same thing. And you're wondering if that's the case. That's why you're in the Eight of Swords. is Because you're wondering if it's going to be the same old, same old. I think so. They want to knock you off balance. You're balanced now. Your cup is full. And there ain't nobody that is going to be able to knock that cup over. They're going to try. What is this Queen of Wands, Spirit? What is this Queen of Wands? What did I just say? Queen of Wands on the Queen of Wands. You glowing up. You showing up. You going after what you want. Brand new beginning. You're walking away from what what is no longer serving you. You see right through this bullshit that this person is trying to pull. And you're keeping your options open. And your guard up. Having the strength to overcome whatever temptations are in your face right now. Because you have an agenda. You have a goal. And you're not about to let any of these fools 
stop that progress. Woohoo! I got through this whole reading without itching my nose. Can you imagine that? Maybe they are tired of messing with me. <laughs> Just saying. So as the death as the final outcome here. Transformation time is happening because you ain't falling for the bullshit anymore. If you're on my channel, you know better. Again, I got the Queen of Wands. This person is having to live with the choices that they made because you're not, you're, you're not even, you're not even get, you're working on your money. I got Libra here on Scorpio. Your justice. Chapter closed. This person is very upset. That you did not choose them. You chose yourself. You chose your brand new beginning in financial abundance. You chose you. And you hung this person out in the back with the rest of them. And went back to tending your garden of life. You cut a bitch, cut a couple bitches, it feels like, it feels like you cut a whole bunch of people out here. And you're just concentrating on your manifestation. And not letting, not letting anybody get you stuck again. You're walking away from being stuck. You're done. It's over. Finito. Day. We done. Bitches. We glowing up. We showing up. We transforming our lives. Making that money. Living our life. And our wheel of fortune. May be a little lonely sometimes. But at least we know where we stand in our own life. Now, I'm not saying that new love isn't coming in because I do feel like it is. I feel like you're going to have several options to choose from, not just one. And this other person sees that and they're pissed. So they're trying to come in and, and weasel in on your new beginning. Don't allow this person to just land on your life you have another path to choose right now one 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 four I think you're finding out about about something that has to do with money somebody sees you as an ATM machine here Scorpio, so you be very wary about this person. They could be in jail or they could be um, in a situation that they can't get out of. A self-imposed prison. There's two of them here with the Eight of Swords and the imprisonment. Some kind of self-imposed prison. And I think you're going to la, la, la right out of there on this new journey, this new pathway that's laid out in front of you to be the privileged lady that you were always meant to be. Or man. Take it out, it resonates. New path. New journey. Leaving the stuckness and this self-imposed prison behind. I got one 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 four one. 
here. That's very significant. I don't know why, but you need to look it up on Google or YouTube. 11141. So, four ones and a four in the middle of it. Four, four. Probably a pretty intense message. I would look it up as I, if I was you. Runner. Somebody's running, but ain't nobody chasing. They're running from their own into their own codependency issues, their own codependent relationship. We got snakes everywhere, guys. And you're the phoenix rising. You are going through a new phase in your life. And you are not looking back at all of these snakes. I mean, I got the snake. I got the girl with the snake. I got people trying to love bomb you. You got a runner running and nobody chasing. Somebody that's taking a chance. Being strategic. I think that's you. Not showing your hand. Because you know that this is an empath and narcissist paradigm. And you're being used by someone that wants to marry you. And there is the tower. You're finding out that there's more, than, more to this than meets the eye. So you're, se you're, se you're separating yourself from the situation. Like I said, there's a third party here. You know it. You're not dumb. You, you've exposed everything. Even if you've only exposed that to yourself, you realize what's up here. And you're just not looking back. Because you know this person used you. You know they charmed you. And then they ran away. But you didn't chase them. You're not chasing them. So now they're sad and they're missing you and they're probably watching everything you do on social media or whatever and their person is pissed because they thought they okay they thought they could play both of you and then run away charm you use you play both of you and run away but Scorpio, you cut them off. You left them to their own devices. You left them to their own issues and their own problems. And you let them go. And now they're in a relationship with someone else. And that person that they're with is pissed. So she's finding, or she or he, so it says the other woman is finding out or trying to find a way to get to you they're being very malicious I mean we're talking they are trying to put your light out hmm. wish a bitch would cause <clears throat> homie ain't playing Come knock on my door. I dare you. <laughs> you might get more than you bargained for. Um, I'm just saying. That's what I'm getting out of that energy. It's like, you know, I had one video that said, don't open that door. But I think, Scorpio, you're way past that. It's like, I dare you to come to my door. I, I, I'll, I'll even invite you in. Make sure my living room's all cleaned up first so I can whoop your ass and send you a packet. <laughs> I don't know where all that came from, guys, but it must have come from you. <laughs> I ain't got no time. And yeah. But um, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. You make, you, you make my day. You make me stronger in dealing with these douchebags, you know? Because 
Like I said, which bitch would? Give me a reason, take some aggression, and I'll bite you in. And then I'll say you broke in. And I had to whoop your ass to get you out. <laughs> I'm terrible, I know. Ah! I love it! Child of consciousness, so we are well aware that this is a transformation. Maiden of revolution. Bitches. You ain't even got any idea who you're messing with. Whoever you are, other woman, other man, you have no idea what you're messing with. Like I said, come on over. Knock on the door. Let's play. <laughs> you guys are so bad. I'm bad. Okay, so. We got the child of consciousness here. <clears throat> this free spirit free-spirited child of conch, co child of the wind is pure consciousness filled with the wonder of life as she flies on her dragonfly without judgment or agenda she is open to all possibilities aloft in the present moment of eternity the wind child here is to help you come free from any perspective of limitation she will help you release your opinions, agendas, and past memories and open your mind to the unlimited possibilities all around you. She brings the purity of consciousness. That is your birthright. So that you may see with the perspective that is free and open to all opportunity. That Queen of Wands to the Death card and the Phoenix on the bottom awesome awesome reading i love this for you scorpio i really do um you're seeing through everything there ain't nobody can pull the wool over your eyes right now but i do feel like you're a little bit self-imposed uh in your own world right now i i think it's time to come out of hermit time and be able to bring your creations to fruition because I think that is going to change your entire paradigm uh, all these other people can get out the fucking way because you got shit to do alright I love you guys uh, please remember to press that like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see you tonight at 7 p.m. And then that's going to be it until Saturday. Alright? Take care. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye.